You're watching a segment of Shiftcast. If you want to see the full show, head over to the live tab on YouTube or get to Spotify to listen to the full episode. Enjoy. Michael, let's just throw it right to you. Will Gen.G continue their dominance first G2 or will the much discussed streak finally be broken? Can G2, can they, can they get over this hump? I mean, they, can they? Yes. Will they? Will they? This time around? Yeah. I think so. Oh, Whoa. It's, it, Whoa. It's not, it, listen, listen, it's got to happen at one point. Of the shift cast. <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's got to happen at one point. It's not happening at the major and it's not happening at the world. <laughs> he said, I got to so get it out of the way happen. right now. The regionals. Let's get it out the way right now. Let's get all the, you know, you don't want that hanging over a team. Like, Oh, we always beat these guys. Uh, we can't that's lose. true. That's fair. So get them out of like, let me be like a Swiss up around three. They got to trade a little bit, first. right? They got to go back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Exactly. It makes you better. You gotta get you have you have to have a real sparring partner. If you sure. beat up your sparring partner every time, you don't get better. Um to me, G2, I think I think I've said this before. It feels like Gen G understands G2's play style better than Gen than G2 understands Gen G's play style. I think now that this has become almost a thing and it's in the players' heads, they're gonna be working a little bit harder than uh, maybe they hadn't passed to actually pay attention to what they're doing because it's become very apparent. This is the team they have to worry about, right? Yeah. The other teams, they can coast by on talent. They can win your series. They can't. This team, they have to play well or they will not win, right? They make mistakes, they lose. Yeah. So I think I think this will be the time. I, I don't think there's going to be like a sweep of regionals in NA. I think G2 and Gen.G yeah. will split them. Um, I said at the beginning of the split, I thought it was going to be two Gen G to one G2, the way that it was two G2 to one Gen G last split. Um, so yeah, I think you that still they're going to so? Yeah, I think Gen G is going to is going to win the third regional and world and the major and worlds. I mean, they're going to win the the third regional, and then um, and major and world. I didn't say that. What are you talking? About? <laughs> Stop putting words in my mouth. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so I think G2 wins it. I think they beat Gen G. I think they finally break the curse. You know, listen, not beating first killer is not for everybody, um, but they'll, <laughs> they'll do it eventually. Well, Actually, I'll weigh in as a, as an individual that participated in the North American Open Qualifier mm. number five. My team, Rat Casserole, actually ran into Gen G in the qualifier. And it was a bloodbath. I mean, we're oh. obviously, what am I doing there? Why am I playing? Why am I on the field with these guys? I was telling the, I was telling these guys before we got into the call and on the video. It's just unbelievable. Like I see it and I know that they are, and I'm not even talking about me. My teammates are are much better than I am. They carry me. It's just kind of a fun content thing. Mm -hmm. But dude, being in the lobby and watching them, it's just unbelievable. Yeah. It's so freaking insane. Like they, you know, when you play ranked and you're with people of your like caliber, you see like, oh, somebody's low boost. Like I can kind of press a little bit further. It no, they're beating me to every ball. I'm not even like it's just it's mind boggling, dude. It's like art. It's unbelievable. Um, it very much showed, you know, how how big of a gap there is between. And I'm not again, I'm not talking about me, but like pros and even just like 2K MMR, you know, SSL players. I, there's such a such a such a difference. Um, all right. Well, is it is it fair to say we all think it's probably G2 and Gen G Grand Finals again? Yeah, but I could see um, them beating it up around three and messing it up the same way it was, where like one one of them takes like too many games or like has a rough start, and then like I don't know. Either way, if that happens, I kind of hope it does because I like to see another team make a final the way LG did. But if things go properly, then yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. it would. Um, I mean, yeah, I think it would be similar to what we saw last time, where where a team has to. Gen G went, went to round five, did they not? They'll have to have a, yeah. a pretty a pretty big whoopsie, I think, to to prevent those two from getting to the finals. They just, I mean, they're just a they're just a cut above right now. You know, no one else in it, no one else in, in exactly a in, in Europe. We've seen that some teams have gotten a lot closer right. to those top four teams, but I don't think we've seen the same yeah. in NA Agreed. regarding the top two. Those are just the top two, yep. and I believe they will be for at least a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Totally. Well, uh, an exciting storyline, I think, for NA that's developing is Snowman. A lot of people, myself, I mean, I was very optimistic about that team and, and even the young whippersnappers team who's been recently grabbed by Spate Esports. 
They made um, the regional. Congratulations. They made the regional again. That's right. I was excited about those teams. And I think I said something along the lines of like those teams will be fighting for top eights all season. That obviously hasn't been the case. They've had some flubs here and there. I think both teams have even missed a regional. Um, mm. And and even when they do qualify, I think neither of them has made top eight until this most recent event for Snowmen, um, which they did actually go on to top four as well. But man, are they in their groove right now? They look very confident. They look very comfortable. You know, we saw them put up a, a really good fight against Gen G in the bracket um, last event. Do we think that? Uh, do we think that that was a fluke, or do we think that that's something they can replicate? Um, even if it's not another top four, but like a, you know, we're going Snowman top eight every event here moving forward. Yeah, and competitively, like not just oh, just make it in the top yeah. top eight in, uh, in in five games and then completely bomb out and get swept. Right. I believe they are actually at a level where they can maybe not always win their quarterfinal matches, sure. but get close enough that it counts, you know? Uh, it's So I think that will be, if we look back on this season as a whole, will be the story of North America. You, Of course, you have the battle between Gen G and G2, but you have all that young talent coming in. You have right. Snowman, you have Young Whippersnappers, now Spade, you have uh, Pirates on a Boat, now yep. Moist. TSM. Those teams, they're all TSM. TSM. There's so many youngsters proving themselves, proving yep. that they belong in those top in the top echelon of North American Rock League, and it's it's amazing to see. It will be amazing to see from the first round of Swiss because we've got um, we've got Snowman versus Moist hmm. uh, in, in the matchup in the first round. I mean that's already that's already so good. Oh yeah, is it though? I wanted to say I thought. I don't know if you guys were paying attention to quals. Swept, Snowman swept Moist. And I don't mean that in that Moist is bad. I mean, Moist is a pretty good team. They're always kind of around that top eight range. And for me, it's like, if Snowmen are just walking through quals now, <laughs> right? Like, they're they're doing, like, you look at their, their uppers. They go to, they play against Triple Threat, which is T. Corral, T. Uh, T yeah. T Var and talk oh. like a team that beat Dignitas, right? Yeah, yep. that was another team that beat three yeah. of them. Go up against Moist, a solidified top sixteen team with solidified top sixteen players. Three of them, like, listen, they're young. They could be prone to inconsistency, whatever. But right now, they're kind of moving like a major team. Like they they they're yeah. walking through yeah. walls. They're making top fours. Yeah. I'm no, I, I like... don't think uh, Moist Esports are on the same level, but it's just yeah. very fun to see yeah. the yeah. new generation of North America go up against each other. Yeah, for sure. Sorry, that you, that I would agree with that in that sense. Um, but yeah, no, I am. I, uh, I'm well, all... to build on what you're saying, I'm excited to see that because I do feel, and I guess this is like a hindsight 2020. You know, it does feel like that Snowman team just had to kind of go through the little bumpy mm-hmm. phase and had to get some experience. And and, and what I mean by experience is like just feel the loss, feel the failure, you know, feel what it, it, what it's like to fall short, take it a little bit more serious, maybe as far as, you know, maybe replays or, you know, discussing things as a team, how they want to approach the game, whatever it is. But it felt like maybe the, 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 the ability was there, right? Like they, they've been yeah. ballers from the beginning of the season. They, they have that mechanical prowess, but it feels like they're starting to put it together now as a cohesive unit. And I mean, Michael said it like they're, they're moving like a team that is, is, is on the way to major. We'll see if that is the case this weekend. Another team that kind of has some question marks around them. Obviously, they had a a fairly good showing at the major. I don't think it was crazy, but I don't think they underperformed. I think that round five win, uh, excuse me, round five loss against Vitality, that that tough battle, um, I think inspired some confidence for people. But can Luminosity can they bounce back and 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 secure themselves a spot in this major? I mean, obviously they're a little behind right now with their uh, I think top eight finish in the first or actually nine, ninth through eleventh wasn't 11th, it? Yeah. Ninth yeah. through eleventh finish. So they're a little behind in the race. Um, you got a new contender there in Snowman surging forwards. You got Space Station kind of basically, I think what I'll say is like replacing the OG for that first split, just kind of grabbing that spot. And so obviously our top two are the top two. And now you've got two other people there that uh, have top four finishes. So Luminosity's got a lot of ground to make up. Do we think it's possible? Um, I, I want to see it. I think that there are <laughs> The looks on you guys' faces says no. <laughs> but like... Here's the thing, right? We love a content creator at a land, you know, vlogs, recap videos. People love them. They show up, they cheer, specifically Rettles. Really, really nice guy. He's got his dad out there cheering. But in terms of gameplay, like, I would much, I think, 
I would like I look at Space Station, right? And it's like they just have a nuclear weapon out there, right? Sure. And they and they're and they've worked to be able to fit him in. It feels like they're finally figuring out how to fit in Chicago and Hawks or in a way that is they're able to harness LJ's ability while also not becoming the LJ show. And it's it's really impressive. Like they're just they have a lot of offense. It's very fun to watch. And then you look at the snowmen, and it's like they're just out there having fun. Mm-hmm. Um, and then even OG, like, are are very much a solid team. But it feels like SSG and the Snowmen, at least their first regional form, represented a level of dog, like a level of co- competitiveness against the top teams yeah. that we were just we just weren't getting from OG and LG last split. Yeah. Like yeah. we like I, agree. like I thought that the Snowmen were going to beat Gen G. They beat them mm-hmm. once. I thought they were going to beat them in the semifinal. Yeah. SSG, they threw that game four. They were supposed to be up three one, and they were yeah. they they. But two goals going in 10 seconds. Yep. So to me, it just feels like maybe there's some teams that have figured some stuff out. And now the process only works if you got the talent, right? So I, I, I don't see it. But at the same time, you know, with the bracket and the single limb, and they just need like a top two again, basically. I don't know. It's going to be yeah. tough. It's going to be tough. We haven't even mentioned M80, who's ahead of them as well. So yeah. 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 But yeah, I'm, no. we're not talking. I'm on a self-imposed hiatus of talking about M80 until they do something other than perform pretty well in Swiss and lose in top eight because there's nothing hey, else to talk about. There's I some mean, consistency Michael, for you, Yins. They're top eight yeah, every time. Yeah, Abs- exactly. I mean, Learning uh, versus harassment. It's it's something, huh? But uh, Michael Michael has talked about the gameplay and how they, how they are on the field. And they don't have the aura that some other teams do That's at the moment. Great word. But you just have to look at the points. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to mention that they've just lost out on too much. Like, yeah. obviously, they can make it back. Uh, it's like mathematically, there are so many possibilities. There's actually, I saw a direct tweet, the first teams have been eliminated for yeah. Worlds contending uh, this week. So everyone in the world, if everyone who still had points like didn't make <laughs> the qualifiers, something crazy like that, then it would still be possible for you and me to get two worlds. Why not me? Yeah, well, I don't. I just don't see it. I just the <laughs> RIs. But but apart from that, the first teams have been eliminated now in SSA. Yeah, Rat so, Casserole course, has been eliminated. Yeah. From, <laughs> I'm we gonna make one it, of those graphics. That, Can that we get Will to make a so bad. We just made it. We're not even playing a third regional. Oh no, <laughs> we're out. I'll get Will to make a graphic for you, like a shift <laughs> graphic. It says eliminated. Uh, if if I were, if we went top 128 again, I was going to tweet out something about shift next up. Race uh, age yeah. limit. <laughs> yeah, get yeah, me yeah, on yeah. the iteration. No, you. We should write a retirement article, and then you come back the next week. <laughs> oh, but but well, anyway, also... there's just not enough points in them to yep. have any kind of comfortable run and they have to get so far ahead of the other teams they have to beat their rivals probably in a head-to-head yeah. it will be incredibly tough to get to the major they, they, they've got to do they've got to perform and do things that they haven't done all season yeah. so yeah if they're up for well, the and it's also like it's there, if, but... if ssg gets to worlds i mean sorry if ssg gets to the major they're yeah. probably going to go two three at least they might sneak a top eight yeah. If Snowman gets to it, you don't know what's going to happen, but like you never know. they could go two, three, and then they it's like you're out of worlds. Yeah. Like you just, that's it. That's your season. Yep. Yep. But yep. I think content creator buff, prediction, LG missed the major and then make the worlds by like one point. Right. Yeah. I mean, we'll uh, see. Yeah. It'll be, a, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. This, this final few events, regionals into major, there's going to be a lot on the line for a lot of teams and, and, and the stories are abound. That was just a segment of Shiftcast. Full episode is on the live tab on YouTube or on Spotify, and you can watch another segment right here.